Hi, I'm Jennifer and I'm a real estate photographer and media specialist and business owner on the East Coast of Central Florida. My goal is to teach and help you simplify all things real estate photography and media, and even the business side too. So be sure to like and subscribe my friends so you don't miss out on anything related to real estate photography, videography, and the business side too. I also have some really helpful free guides in the description below. I'm also going to share some best practices to start right away to help you save lots of time in the long run. So watch till the end. Okay. Let's talk about file upload and organization. So you've been shooting all day and now it's time to get your files loaded to your computer and off to the editor. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I load my projects for the day to keep things organized. So I mentioned before, you'll need to set up a shared folder with your editor. So when you load your images, they will receive them. Um, you'll share the folder to the email address your editor provides to you. And I did provide you guys with a couple of my uh, favorite editors. So you can start there. You can kind of uh, go research some of their work and see what style fits you best. Reach out to them and ask them what email is best for sharing your files. Um, you can use Dropbox, you can use Google Drive, whatever makes you happy. But I started with Dropbox, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I stay organized. Um, both Google Drive is great too. So, and it would follow the same type of format. So let's say we're setting up a folder from today's shoot. Um, I have with my editor here, I have several editors, but with this particular one, I have an input folder and an output folder. So at the end of the day, you would start a new folder in your input folder. And what I do is I label it today's date. So January 4th new, I remove the new from the old days and I put uh, dot new on the new day so they know which one is new. So in that folder, I label that with subfolders. Okay, so banana river, I don't even know how to say this name, but we'll just say Dalbora and Seville. Um, those are the few that my team has put in already for the day. Um, yesterday, we have the list here. So you'll notice I'll label it by the number and street name or simply just the street name. So simple guys. And then once you label the folder with the appropriate street name, you'll load your files within that folder. A few other tips. I have a folder here called Community Photos, and this folder is shared with my whole team. So what we do in this folder is we name all of the communities that we have been to uh, if they order community photos. So this makes it a lot easier when we go back to that community, whether it's myself or one of my photographers, to use the community images again and not reinvent the wheel if nothing has changed and therefore saving time in our day, um, either that day or in the long run. So what we do is we label each folder by the name of the community. And in that folder, we have photos and then we have started to add video clips as well. If they order a video and we have aerial clips of the community, we are adding it here too. That way we can grab that footage and use it again. And there's really no problem with that. If nothing has changed in the community and you go and you would take the photos the same exact way, there's really no sense in taking them again. So that is something that I love that we do and it does save tons of time. Another thing, when you start doing videos, you'll be adding uh, branded as well as unbranded video uh, footage. So the branded footage, the agent is going to want their headshot and logo included in the video. So what we've been doing here as well, which is super helpful, is we name the folder by the agent and we have the agent name here on the right hand side and in that folder we have their logo and we have their headshot and that way when we communicate with the video editor we say agent headshot and logo in the folder and they can go ahead and grab it um, you don't have to give them access to all of your info here you can simply just copy Control c Control v in the job folder and that makes it easy peasy rather than having to track down the agent have them email you over the file just do that once guys um, you know 
here and there they may say, oh, my, my profile picture has been updated, but we all know that usually they keep those photos for a long time, sometimes too long, sometimes years, and they look nothing like that. But anyhow, um, go ahead, save yourself time, start doing this from the beginning. I'm telling you it will be um, beneficial for you in the long run. So that is kind of how you know I set up my folders between editors, um, additional subfolders, um, community folders. You'll want to set up um, other special folders that you you know you keep um, handy. Uh, we have you know a social media folder. We have a main folder where we keep everything. Um, nice and organized that all of us can access. So just do whatever works for you guys. I just wanted to share kind of how we organize things and keep things, um, you know, ready to go for our team. Another thing I like to do is add subfolders for my editors, such as art for TV and maybe a desk sky library and sometimes even music for those who do your video editing. This makes it super simple for them to grab your style and know what you like. Uh, for instance, I live here in Florida. We're on a barrier island between the ocean and the river. So on my TV screens and the homes where I live, I'd prefer some tropical scenery um, and not mountains. So you get what I'm saying there. So I, I compiled a list of, you know, 10 to 15 um, screen photos that I prefer that they use so they can grab any from here and know that that would be okay with me. Um, also dusk skies. When you have a day to dusk digitally um, converted image, you want to make sure that the type of sky matches the style of the home or the sunset type that you see most in your area. So I grabbed these. I think they were they were free or someone shared them with me. Um, and I'm happy to share them with you guys as well if you need. But I just simply say, okay, use number 10 for this house, use number four for this house, etc. Um, for videos, sometimes it's a more luxury home and I want more of a cinematic and classic type of music or um, maybe I want it fun and fast and edgy maybe it's for a younger real estate agent who wants the the trendy look so you kind of have to gauge um, you know your people and what they like and convey that to the editors and having these subfolders makes that super simple um, to write in your email and your notes to them at the end of the day when you send them your instructions one thing that I wasn't completely familiar with when I first started and adding all of these huge files to my computer was how Dropbox works and how much space it takes up on your hard drive. So here's a little tip. You may or may not know this, but um, there's a difference between having your files online versus offline. As you see here under Dropbox, these are all of the files that are offline. Um, I can readily click on these and they'll be at my disposal. Um, they are taking up space on my hard drive. And as of now, everything's okay, but this is something I have to do quite often. I have to make files available um, offline and I can always bring them back online if I need to. But what I do is I go up to this little Dropbox icon at the top of my screen and then I click on my little initials up here in the top right corner. And from there I go to preferences then you'll go to sync then you'll go to select folders and under this box right here you'll see every single folder that i have in dropbox the ones with the black check mark next to them are ones that are taking up space on my computer so if you scroll through and you're like hey i don't need this one right now i can go ahead and uncheck that um, maybe i don't need this one right now i'm gonna uncheck that I'm going to uncheck this one. I don't think I really need that one right now. And then more space will become available on your computer. And then once you hit the update button here, update preferences, update, it will then be removed from this side. You can see um, at least you saw one of them delete. Some of them may have been down here. Anyways, so that's all you need to do, guys, to free up a little space. Um, if you don't have this little iCloud um, mark right here, you may have a green circle or a green check mark, which, which also means it's taking up space on your computer. Um, you can go ahead and right click and say make online only, and then that would help save space as well. So while I'm here, you'll see I have some, some several here called portfolio. Whenever you're done with, uh, or the editor send you back photos and you deem those portfolio worthy, we go ahead and label those portfolio. 
And then my marketing manager will go in and say, hey, these are the photos that I need to use for social media. So that's just another easy way and a tip um, with the least amount of communication possible to let her know, hey, there's some photos in here that we can use for social media. Um, my operations manager in the morning when she receives the images back from the editors, she'll go through those and, and decide if it's portfolio worthy or trash worthy. So you'll see a lot labeled trash here. And after a couple days, I go ahead and drag and drop all of those in the trash bin. So these are ones that we don't want to showcase. We don't need them anymore. Um, not worthy of any sharing whatsoever. And she will label those trash. So then we can go in whoever sees them first or whoever can get rid of them first can go ahead and drag those to the trash can and save room. So you don't want to have things that keep piling up and piling up and taking space unless you absolutely need them. Say there was just a home with a really nice kitchen, everything else was crappy. You could label it kitchen dot park avenue dot final and um, that way you'll know hey look at the kitchen so there's several tips and tricks to make life easier uh, you'll just want to make sure you start that from the very beginning to keep yourself super super organized